What is good, y'all? Good morning. This is your boy, The Shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. So for those of y'all who are already used to my channel, this is no intro, no special outro or nothing. I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about some things that I learned in my late 20s that I wish I knew in my early 20s. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing is, it's okay not to be right all the time. I think pride can kill, you know, the relationships you have with people. And because of that, you know, you always wondering if maybe situation could have been handled a little better. And sometimes we think our opinion is the thing that is the most important. But a lot of times we have to try and look at different perspectives, in my opinion. So, you know, these days I try not to, you know, really be that imposing with things. You know, when I was in, when I was in my 20s, that would have been a different story. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is you're not going to keep all the friends you have. You're going to have to learn to let some people go because I've had a lot of good friends that were good for the time. But then as time went on, they didn't become, you know, good for, you know, the future time. So you have to let some people go. You know, I have people who I thought was really the best friends I could ever have, but the truth is, you know, things had, you know, changed, and sometimes other people's true colors had came out, so you always got to be aware of that sort of thing, you know? Third thing is, sleep is healthy and more important than you think. When I was in my early 20s, I thought I was Superman, you know what I'm saying? I was in college and, you know, going to classes and doing these late papers and whatever, thinking I could just, you know, pull it off. I used to be able to pull off an all-nighter pretty well, but my health would kind of suffer because of that, so I've learned to get better sleep as I got older, so that's no longer happening. And the fourth thing is, failures are lessons learned if you apply it correctly. You know, I always say, I've made mistakes, but I always try to better myself later on. You know, someone once told me that the best definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again and hoping for a different result. Now... I feel like that's a quote, but I'm not sure where. If you guys know who said it, then leave that in the comments, all right? The fifth thing is the energy you give off affects, it reflects what you attract. You know, I always say now especially that if I'm giving off negative vibes, it's more than likely that the day is going to be negative. Or if I, you know, give off a positive vibe, it's a possibility that I'm going to be having a good day and, you know, vice versa. You know, energy is very important and people need to protect their energy at all costs because some people are trying to, you know, downgrade your energy and you have to stay away from those type of people. So that's how I see it. And number six is change is inevitable. Even if the change is negative, your thoughts and your personality are always evolving. Even when you can't see it. I always say, now, it's like, what I thought was not going to happen eventually ended up happening. And some some of the things I used to find very exciting and interesting, I don't really, you know, find interesting and exciting anymore. So I've just left some things alone as I got older. Now, the seventh thing is what you let bother you is mostly small things. And you can't control. Th those are things that you can't control. The small things that you find that are bothering you. And a lot of that comes from anxiety. You know, a lot of times people have anxiety because they always focusing on the, the things that they cannot control, like another person's opinion. Or if someone tries to do them harm, or if someone wants to talk and they're not sure what it's about, so they end up getting nervous because then they think it's going to be something negative. But you got to put all that aside sometimes and understand that you have no control over what other people do, and you have no control over certain situations that are out of your environment you have to realize that and that is how you slowly but surely kill some of your anxiety you know i've had to learn that over time myself being someone who used to have that a lot growing up but it's gotten less and less as i've gotten older because i realize they're just things that i can't control and that's the truth now the eighth and final thing is that nostalgia can blind you from how some people really are you have to understand that and move on. You see, some of us are holding on to people still that we think are going to change at some point and that 
are gonna be you know less improved for our living situations or what fits our comforts and whatever but we have to realize that some people are never going to conform to that and if you feel like you can't mesh with that then you know don't be around that person that's really how i feel about it but that's the end of this video like i said no intro no special outro or nothing okay if you want to check out any more videos like this i'm gonna leave a playlist at the end all right so yeah i'm gonna be getting up out of here soon and you'll be getting vlogs of that during next week sometime or even during the weekend because i'm supposed to be coming back to new york the weekend during this weekend i can't speak this morning kind of tired a little bit yeah it's your boy the shows and i will see you guys next time when i upload peace